Hello everybody, this is Drew with Acoustia Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we wanted to share uh, a few coins that have made us the most money, have got us through this pandemic in terms of uh, finding new customers, creating uh, uh, sales, um, and also just finding coins people love and enjoy. Um, so I'm going to take you guys through a few categories today um, of coins that will make you money on your coin dealing adventure. So. Um, let me show you guys a coin real quick. So this is an 1896 uh, Morgan Silver Dollar graded MS64 star by NGC. Um, it has really nice eye appeal and that's what's kind of uh, been booming at the moment. So uh, let me take you guys upstairs in the light box and uh, show you guys just a few things that will help you with your business. Alright guys, made it right up to the light box and I wanted to show you guys uh, a few of the coins that we got in but also I wanted to break down exactly what I paid for coins and what I plan on selling them for. Many, many dealers don't do this but I thought, uh, you know, the more information you know the better it is for you in terms of reselling coins or um, and also making maybe a few bucks for the family but uh, first but not First up, uh, we have this 1921 High Relief. Uh, I would say very fine, a little bit better maybe. Um, and it's been cleaned. Um, but what I've I've actually worked with a few wholesalers on stuff like this, and I've been selling many of these for $230. Uh, mainly the reason why I've been selling them for that high is because of the nice back feathers here. Um, if it's worn off, they don't want them. But stuff like this, you know, I paid $200 for this coin, and I'm going to make around a $25 profit after shipping. But um, for the rest of the video, expect all the what I'm going to make and what I'm going to pay up at the top left of your screen. But that's what I'm doing and getting for on each one of these. I've sold, I think, about three to 400 of these uh, since the start of the 2021 uh, Peace Dollar and Morgan Dollar craze but they are definitely money makers still today. Next we're going to show you guys a familiar coin you've seen recently. This is a 1895-0 uh, Morgan Silver Dollar. Uh, it's in uh, not too good of condition but uh, what's good about this coin and what you should look out for is that it's not worn to the point where you can't see the O mint and can't see the details around the rim and you can also see the 1895 that is still intact. People love that part of it but anything worse than that, I would stray away from. The sold comps on this coin, I paid 200 for this coin, and I've sold this coin already to a new owner for $260. So um, I normally stay in the $200 range for this coin. If I can get it for less than that, then that's a great, great addition as well. Uh, I would agree this coin is like a VG, maybe a little bit better, and I left a little bit room for the new owner. So. Keep an eye out for these. They sell quick. They uh, they've been doing pretty well for me lately. Gave me a little bit uh, of a premium. Um, so I don't buy a ton of coins, but I buy the coins that I know will uh, have the biggest return for me. And so I hope this one helps you guys make a few extra bucks this week. Next, we're gonna be showing off this beautiful 1896 Morgan Silver Dollar that we were showing off downstairs. Uh, it's graded MS64 star by NGC. Get the beautiful, beautiful rainbow on it. I paid 190 for this coin and I would expect anywhere between 250 to 275. Um, if I list it high at 275, I'll probably get down to 250. But the color is really nice. The grade's nice. Uh, 64 star coins. Uh, I would expect you to sell anywhere between 225 to 275 based on their color. And sometimes there's an anomaly where the color is really great and you would expect more than that. But, um, you know, it's a pretty good return. Paying, I paid 190 like I said, and I would see about a $55 return if I sold this coin at the 250 mark and after shipping. So, great return for you guys if you wanted to uh, make a few bucks buying the more eye appeal coins from NGC, just like this Morgan Dollar here. But, flip it over to the reverse. It's a beautiful reverse as well. Um, 
and people are bound to love this stuff for a long, long time. So, awesome coin. This is uh, a 1916D Mercury Dime. I paid $400 for this coin um, from a local coin shop. They had it graded themselves. Um, and what I'm selling these for at the moment is around $450. So, you pay $400, bucks, list it um, on a few sites that I do, Instagram, Facebook, eBay, and you come out with $450. So, um, you know, after shipping and everything, I would say you get around $45 for this coin, um, which should really help you guys as well, you know, moving into those bigger types of coins and gets you a really a nice foothold on coins that you uh, don't spend a couple hundred bucks on, but maybe spend 500 or 600 700 maybe close to $1,000 on coins. Um, stuff like this has been really selling for me lately, and it should help you guys too because... Um, the thing I've learned about what we talked about a lot as well is that with key dates and with other coins like this, um, you're bound to uh, have more demand in times of uh, times like these. You know, the stock market's not doing the best. Um, a lot of uncertainty with everything going on uh, politically, and so everyone's going to be spending their money elsewhere while inflation rises. And where they spend their money elsewhere, um, supply goes down for these types of coins and demand goes up so people are wanting to look for coins that uh, will keep their their money and even increase in value over time like these coins have steadily for the past uh, years you know and so what I would expect for coins like these um, they're in high demand right now they've been increasing at an exponential rate in terms of value so that's something that I would uh, strongly suggest looking out for at coin shows and other places um, and just to break down something for you guys to to follow, I wouldn't I wouldn't follow this for uh, many many weeks, but for say a month out from now, um, like I said, I was selling this one for 400. I'm expecting 450 for it for AG3s. Um, I spend I'd spend upwards of 600 dollars on those, and uh, I would sell them for around 650 um, for G4s. I would I I paid like 850 and I sell them anywhere between. Uh, 925 to 950 so uh, just for you guys out there looking for certain coins to buy for yourselves wanting a little bit of a gap um, these are the coins that you might want just because yeah uh, you're, you're making a profit but you're also going to be able to sell these super super quick so thank you guys for looking at all these uh, coins in the video today um, I really appreciate it Alright guys, I wanted to thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a thumbs up for us. Um, I'm trying to create a, a different type of channel than most coin channels. Uh, I want to help people uh, not only collect, but also be able to sell coins on their own and do things that they enjoy. You know, I think many people enjoy the hobby in terms of collecting stance, but I think there's a lot of people out there that say, you know what, I want to take it to the next level or... I want to understand uh, your perspective, Drew, and how you sell coins or how you find coins or how you do certain things. So if you guys did enjoy this video, uh, like I said, please leave a like. And if you'd like to watch more videos in the future, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, and there's, there's a thing I wanted to leave you guys with today. Um, I was actually at uh, Texas, the Texas Youth Summit uh, here in Texas. Um, a few days ago actually and we had a few key speakers with us um, but there's one speech that really uh, resonated with me uh, there's a lot of things happening right now um, politically and I wanted to thank uh, all of our servicemen and service women for doing what they do best which is protect our country um, serve the people of the United States and people that help us and uh, when I was at this youth conference I actually uh, we actually were uh, listening to Kaylee McEnany speak and she wanted to honor the troops uh, that were out there um, that risked their lives and ended up losing their lives so um, please watch the rest of this video and uh, uh, just honor our troops in any way that you can and uh, I will see you guys in the next video uh, God bless and uh, thank you that paid the ultimate price as I was sitting backstage, I tried as hard as I could to find as many of their names as I could, and I want to read them to you. Maxton Soviak, age 22.
He was a Navy hospital corpsman from Berlin Heights, Ohio. Kareem Nakui, 20 years old, a Marine from Norco, California. They, they deserve that standing ovation. The day before he passed away, he sent his father a video of him handing candy to a little Afghan child at the Kabul airport. David Lee Espinoza, 20 years old. He was a Marine from Laredo, Texas. Yep. Riley McCollum, age 20, from Bondurant, Wyoming. He was a Marine. He was a newlywed, and his child will be here in three weeks. Jared Schmidt, age 20, St. Charles County, Missouri. He was a Marine and his down dad found out at 2.40 a.m. that his son was gone. <laughs> Hunter Lopez, 22, he was a Marine and he wanted to be a sheriff deputy. Dagan Page, age 23, from Omaha, Nebraska. He had a tough outer shell, but a giant heart. <laughs> Darren Taylor Hoover, he was 31, from Midvale, Utah. His dad said he did what he loved. He was leading his men, and he was with them to the end. Ryan Naus, 23, from the Army, Knoxville, Tennessee. He was a devout Christian, and his grandfather said, quote, he was a believer, so we will see him again in God's heaven. And there are four more whose names that we will learn in the coming hours and days, but I have three words. Remember these names. Remember them. Because I can tell you this, far more than anything I was called to do, or really many of us were called to do, I can tell you, uh, above all, these men were called for such a time as this, and they lived up to their calling. They are heroes. They paid the ultimate price. And let's end by honoring them and each one of us this weekend. Say a prayer for their families, because they are now Gold Star families. Thank you, everyone.